And as I mentioned earlier, um, we're currently in a special session. Um, as of this taping, uh, the Senate has passed a version of a, of a measure on same-sex marriage. However, um, it has not been finalized, and that might not happen for another few days or a week or so. Uh, but one issue that has popped up has been uh, why we don't allow the people to vote on this issue. And ultimately, since statehood, uh, it has been tasked to the legislature through their elected officials that we deal with all of the issues, uh, whether they're controversial or not. Do you agree with that and support that? I do agree with it. I mean, basically, we have a representative democracy here, and we use the elected representatives like ourselves for every other issue. Right. And I don't see any particular justification for making this the exception. And in fact, uh, there's reasons not to, because we passed a constitutional amendment a little more than 10 years ago that specifically gave that power to the legislature. Mm -hmm. So as I understand it, even if there were to be a direct public vote, that would not have legal standing on the, on the status of marriage. So not only ought we to do it, but we must. I don't think anyone else can do it. In my mind, the call for letting people vote is simply a fallback position in recognition of the fact that there seems to be support in the legislature to pass this. Yes. I don't personally believe that if we had a direct vote that it would change the outcome. I believe the majority of people support this. Civil rights for all at this time. I'm quite clear that in my district, you know, um, the email and mail and phone calls in my district have been running more than six to one in favor of same-sex marriage. Now, my district is, if I may say, progressive or liberal, but we also have the largest gay population in the state and a very fast-growing gay population. So I'm quite clear about the, the support for me for same-sex marriage comes both from uh, representing my district as well as from what I see as the right thing right. to do. And in 1998, uh, the vote was that the legislature would have the right to decide the issue on the same-sex marriage, although many people thought that it meant that automatically they would take it up as uh, a right for a man and a woman only. However, they just gave the authority to the state legislature, of which we never acted because uh, there was no major push or advocacy to act on that 1998 vote. Um, also, when you look at issues such as uh, the Civil Rights Act, uh, the women's voting suffrage, and other civil rights type or equal rights type, whatever one wants to call it or categorize it as, uh, those aren't the type of issues that you do put to a popular vote. Uh, because the Civil Rights Act, for example, probably would have failed if it were put to a popular vote. Or the women's right to vote mm -hmm. likely would have failed because it would have been only men voting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? right. Um, plus, there's the issue of uh, if you do have initiative, which we don't, California does, and we see some of the problems California has, mm. but does that mean we would put gambling to the vote of the people? or um, debt with dignity, abortion, where does it stop? Uh, which issues do you choose? And then there's the concern that outside influences, big money, maybe a billionaire says, hey, I want to put money into television ads and newspaper ads and, and influence the outcome versus having a, a vetted process where the voters, the electorate, can send in their emails, which they are. We've been getting thousands of emails thousands. over the last eight weeks yes. and faxes, phone calls, where they can talk to their elected officials. Mm -hmm. And that's the system, as you said, that we have had um, since statehood. 
I think that that you're exactly right, and I'm glad you mentioned the other civil rights battles of the recent past or the not so recent past, because I think they're they're exactly analogous to this issue. There's no real difference between the issue that we're f- facing now and the right to vote for women or people of color or the the right for anyone to marry. I, I think this is simply an extension of that civil rights march that's been going on. And as you mentioned, sometimes it wasn't a uh, popular vote popularity that made it happen. It was the right thing to do and the legally required thing to do also. So I'm, uh, I see it in that light. And I also think that, um, you know, five or ten years from now, I believe we're going to look back on this and feel like, what was all the fuss about? Because really the sky's not going to fall, traditional families aren't going to fall apart, um, it's not going to change our society in any major way. And just like we look back on the right to vote for women or, or the right to vote for any race, looking back on it, it seems so obvious. And I don't think anyone would want to go back and fight that fight. I believe this is just one of those progressive steps in that, in that march. And let me state that um, what we're working on uh, on both sides of this issue is the House and the Senate. Uh, What will be the exemptions and protections for the churches, the religious institutions, and the clergy? Mm -hmm. Uh, There's been a lot of discussion and debate on the public accommodations aspect of the law and whether small businesses or facilities of the churches or institutions uh, should be made available to everyone. Correct? Correct. I think that's the, that's the crux of, of the fight that's going on now, is how can we craft the broadest r- religious exemption or, um, th- that we can. And I believe it's, you know, for those who support uh, marriage equality, I believe we all desire to give the churches the widest possible exemption so this isn't about forcing a church to do something they don't want to do and really that hasn't been the issue in other states where this has happened and I don't see that being an issue here so I fully support the broadest possible protection for churches so that as many people as possible can feel comfortable moving forward with this